My clients usually want me to deliver content as HTML files, but PDFs are still useful. For example, they're convenient, single files that are easily emailed to select customers when you don't want the content available to everyone on your website. In comparison, HTML files need other support files such as images and style sheets. The folder files can be zipped up for emailing, but it's too complicated for customers to use files this way. In this video, I'll walk you through a PDF file I created directly from Markdown text, which is an uncommon starting point. What also sets this PDF apart from many is its beautiful design. To protect confidentiality, I've replaced the original text with lorem ipsum, removed logos, and so on. PDFs are usually created from a word processor such as Microsoft Word or Adobe FrameMaker. In organizations that use XML-based tools, they can also be created with an XSL formatting objects workflow. PDFs created with XSL Faux always seem to have a primitive, unpolished look. And anyway, in 2017, XSL Faux is a dead standard, last updated in 2006. To me, this means XSL Faux is not a technology worth putting time and money into. For this project, my source files were in Markdown and the output format was HTML. The big question was how do you go from HTML to a beautiful PDF? We've all seen the ugly result of printing web pages. Image size and quality is all wrong, tables are cut up, the text has widows and orphans, margins are messed up, and headers and footers have information we don't want. This page printed from the NATO website is a good example. So how did I do it? I converted my Markdown source to HTML and then converted the HTML to PDF using the styling and page layout rules of the CSS3 standard, CSS meaning cascading style sheet. Because browsers don't fully support the latest CSS page layout rules, I did have to use a proprietary PDF rendering tool that does support most of the standard. Let's take a look at the PDF. In a two-page view, you can see I made the inside margins wider than the outside margins. This is common for PDFs intended for print because it allows room for binding. The page numbering is on the lower outside corners with odd numbers on the right hand page. The header and footer information is properly formatted. Headings, body text and images are nicely aligned and images are the intended sizes. There are no widows and orphans. Tables are perfectly laid out and where they cross pages the header is repeated. Procedures are correctly indented. The front page includes a table of contents generated during the HTML conversion. Hyperlinks and email links are colored live links. This example shows you don't need a word processor to make beautiful PDFs. You can create both HTML and PDF formats from a single markdown source file, freeing you up to leverage the benefits of text-based content and open source tools.